Here, my man JD Williams. What's good, JD? What's up, man? What's up? What's going on with you? Nothing much, nothing much. Uh, enjoying my time in Philly, man. That's all. Alright, you amateur boxer. You're from New Orleans. Uh, what weight do you fight at? I fight at 165 in the amateurs. Um, turning pro, I'm looking to fight at 156. 154. We call it 156. 156. 156 in the amateurs, right? Or is that 152? 165 in the amateurs. No, I'm saying. Oh, uh, what's the division amateurs, in the amateurs? 156. Yeah, 156. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, how'd you get started boxing, bro? Uh, well, my dad came home from jail. He seen me playing football. I was getting, I had, I was getting a lot of trouble. So he was like, "Man, I want you to try something out." So he brought me to the gym. I want to say like three days later, I fell in love with the sport. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Man. It seems like you only pick sports where you can hit people. That, that's your yeah, choice. <laughs> yeah, I like I like fighting, man. I like fighting. All right. So, how many amateur fights have you had? Uh, so right now, I'm at about thirty. Yeah, about thirty. Thirty amateur fights. How many do you want before you sign pro? Um, honestly, I want to get a few national titles under my belt and then look to turn pro after that. Have you fought in the national yet? Yeah, I fought in nationals three times. Three times. Yeah. How'd you do? Uh, I came up short a few times. I just fought in in Chester like two years ago. Came up short. I remember that one. Yeah. That one. Do you feel like it's an experience thing with you? As in turning pro? No, that's the reason why you weren't successful in the nationals. Like you just need more experience, seeing more styles, etc. Or were you bullshitting and can't? It wasn't. It was more so. Me not having the mic, the right mindset going into the fight. Honestly, I um, I wanted to be, I wanted to show that I could actually fight coming from the south. Like you know, mm -hmm. they be like, man, fight it out there in the south, can't fight and stuff like yeah. that. So I wanted to show a little talent, and that's not what the judge wanted to see. So, so that's short. That's I, I got you. That that definitely is a narrative. Yeah. They, people look at the south as big, strong dudes, yeah. but not necessarily skilled. Right, right. You wanted right. to prove them wrong? Yeah, that's all, that's all, man. I think it. I saw you box the other day, bro. I saw you boxing uh, Greg <laughs> G Hackett. G Money, hot yeah. shot, man, hot shot. So you boxing. Hey, bro, come get in here, man. Come, come talk, man. Yeah. So you boxing Greg Hackett yeah, on man. live. I, I, what was that experience that, like? I love that guy, man. I've been following him on Instagram for a while. Real cool guy. Very talented. Um, I mean, he, like, he taught me a lot in the ring yesterday. And... I'm, I want I want to do it again. I want to come back. Uh, whenever I come back out here, I want to do it again, man. How was like, the work? It was wonderful. I loved it. I loved it, man. Describe G as a fighter, cause most people just know man, G as a trainer. He, he real skillful. He's he can he can he can surprise you if you if you don't watch what he do. So it's it's that's that's something. To, he he's somebody to watch, man. He's somebody to watch. Yo, he, did he try to get you with that overhand? He tried to get me with the overhand. He tried to get me with the overhand, man. Yeah, he tried, man. He, he tried. I told, I told him to throw it again. I said, throw it again. <laughs> you was yeah. going to sit on it this time? Yeah, I was going to sit on it. I was going to come, come right up the middle, man.